In Tanzania, among the Zaramo and Quare people, girls are gifted a fascinatingly abstract sculpture during their initiation into womanhood. During this video and some future videos, I will be discussing certain African artworks while simultaneously rendering their likeness in either 2D or 3D. Today's female-focused African art object will be remade using 3D graphics. The artwork in question is most commonly called Mwana Hiti, and I've also seen it called Mwana Enya Engahiti. This wooden doll is given to a girl by her aunt when they begin their initiation isolation upon reaching puberty. During this initiation into adulthood, a girl is taught lessons on various things such as learning how to be a good wife and mother. The sculpture's purpose in this process involves the girls caring for the Moanahiti like an actual child by washing, oiling, and feeding them. The Moanahiti figures are linked with fertility and are key for contacting the spirits of ancestors. Often the dolls are passed down through the generations, and the older the doll is, the more effective it is at sustaining good relations with the ancestors. Despite its abstractions, I believe most of its features are self-evident, though some viewers may not understand what the split part of the head resembles. This is meant to reflect a traditional parted hairstyle that was found among the Zaramo and Quere women. And speaking of hair, although the girls do not sculpt the dolls themselves, while they are using it, they decorate the wooden figure with colorful beads and even a coiffure made of their own hair that's attached to the top of the sculpted hair. As you can imagine, this is a very personal and powerful element that is almost always removed after the girl's initiation, and that's why it's very rare to find Moanahiti that still have real hair attached to them. The name itself, Moanahiti, has been translated in a number of different ways, including child of wood, child of the clan, child of the chair, child of the throne, and more. The translations regarding such things as chairs and thrones refers to when a Zeramo and Quere girl graduates from her initiation. At this time, the girl sits upon an ancestral seat in order to link her with the ancestors and so that she can show her gratitude to the ancestors for their blessings of fertility and health. Once the ritual seclusion is complete, the girl re-emerges into society as a young woman. Now I suppose I should explain that the Zaramo and Quere don't think childbirth is impossible without this ritual, but they do believe that this custom strengthens the possibility that a woman will have children. Plus, it helps to prepare young ladies psychologically for conception. However, as we all know, life doesn't always go according to plan. In the event that a woman is having trouble conceiving a child, they will care for the doll in the same way she did during her initiation, and if, unfortunately, her first child dies, she will redo her ritual seclusion in order to re-establish communications with the ancestors in hopes to ensure fecundity and continuity of the lineage. On the topic of lineage, it's worth noting that the Zaramo and Quere are, like a large number of other African cultures, matrilineal societies, meaning that these peoples trace their lineage through their mother's line of descent. In a book titled The Art of the Zaramo, Identity, Tradition, and Social Change in Tanzania by Fadhili Safeli Mashana, it presents the idea that in the matrilineal societies of East Central Tanzania, female figure sculptures are the dominant art of the area because of the importance and centrality of women. Furthermore, this book also explains that the Moanahiti takes part in constructing female identity by symbolizing her values, traditions, and matrilineal heritage. These facts account for why this icon is so prevalent in many of the objects of these particular Tanzanian groups. The Moanahiti's image is carved into furniture, 
medicine containers, instruments, staffs of authority, grave posts, and more. Mwanahiti is not just a doll, but a symbol for the womanhood of the Zeramo and Quere peoples, and defines their cultural identity. Alrighty, let's now take a look at our finished 3D model of the Mwanahiti. As you can see, I chose to go with a more cartoony style, flat colors, because I don't want realistic textures on these models because I don't really want to go in that direction with them. And instead of replicating the exact details of a particular Moanahiti, I sort of combined various elements that I saw on multiple Moanahitis. And as you can see, I made the beads much larger than normal, and I'll be adding little unique touches to a number of these artworks in these 3D modeling videos, but in some cases I may in fact try to replicate said artwork as exactly as possible. It really depends on the artwork. So I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Red Spirit Mask channel.